Yeah, you have to remember, uh, Bitcoin is the largest asset, obviously, uh, in the industry. Um, it's the one that has the longest time frame or kind of existence. Uh, it's the most liquid, uh, but also it has the most brand awareness, right? And, and so when you add these things up, what you uh, have to think about is Bitcoin is the entry point for most people. Now, there will, some people now are starting to come in through NFTs or other types of things. But when you look at Bitcoin, uh, there was a study done, I think it was by Grayscale, that said 87% of Bitcoiners hold some other asset, whether that's a stable coin, whether that's an NFT or, or whatever. And so what that tells me is that most people in this industry have a high degree of confidence that Bitcoin will be around in the future, and they're also excited about other things. Now, whether the other things they're excited about work or not, the free market will decide. But if you get the people who are in the industry believe that Bitcoin is, uh, as a young kid told me once, a boomer coin, right? And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, he's like, that's not fun. That's not exciting. That's not going to go up that much. Like, that's boomer coin. I was like, okay. Um, but like, actually, in some way, like, that's a huge uh, advantage. Because when the institutions show up, they don't want to press as far out on the innovation uh, kind of uh, curve as possible. They don't want to take on as much risk as possible. Bitcoin's compound annual growth rate is, you know, depending on the day and, and price, sits somewhere between like 75 and 150 percent during bull and bear cycles now. Name another asset that's done that for a decade. The compound annual growth rate of that asset is off the charts. And so if a hedge fund on Wall Street had simply just bought Bitcoin and sat on their hands for a decade, they'd been the best performing hedge fund. So when you see that, what you realize is that institutions want to come into the space and what they're gonna look for is actually safety, right? It's a little different. A lot of individuals that come into the space, they're looking for risk. How do I take as much risk as possible? And they gotta kinda of touch the stove a couple times and they realize, eh, maybe I don't wanna take as much risk as possible. They don't wanna find you know, something else. But institutions don't think that way. They're not thinking how high can this stuff go. What they're thinking about is what risks do I need to underwrite? How do I allocate to the space? And then how do I protect against that downside risk? And I think that's why Bitcoin continues to be an asset where uh, the institutions look first. You got brand awareness, you got safety, you got a long time horizon. And uh, ultimately, I think it's a positive for whatever part of the industry you're interested in to get people uh, involved.